So I've been dealing with um, mental health kind of issues since about the age of 10. The depression kind of um, developed through middle school, reached a point around um, the age of 13 where I started having suicidal thoughts and suicidal ideations and um, I got really close to uh, kind of thinking about that stuff and it showed me that I had to say something. Um, when I was a sophomore, I started feeling a lot of feelings of depression and anxiety, but I felt really isolated and I felt very alone and I felt like I couldn't talk to anyone or else I would be a burden. So I kept those feelings to myself for a very long time until one day I eventually just kind of broke down and I had to tell my mom because I was feeling a lot of feelings of suicidal thoughts and I just felt like if I didn't say something that something bad was really going to happen. It felt very isolating. I've, I'm an only child, so I already was very lonely in my personal life, and it felt like no one understood what I was going through. At that age, you feel like you're way too young to be feeling what you're feeling. I was only about 14, 15, and I felt like my whole entire world was falling apart. And at that point, you're like, what world do you have? I'm not going to college by myself. I'm, all my bills are being paid for. I don't have to work. Yet I was still feeling like I didn't want to be here anymore. I didn't want to be alive. It's a very trouble, troubling feeling. And I don't really know how to put it into words. It's just very sad and depressing. The Brandon Roberts Mental Health Fund is used to help level the playing field for all, all kids. All students have access to therapy and to mental health care, uh, especially if kids have any kind of an obstacle such as a financial obstacle or the time and scheduling, um, maybe they're underinsured or not insured. Anyone, any of our students have access to mental health help through the Braden Robertson Fund. First went to my school counselor and so I went to her and she told me that we have a mental wellness advocate here that is primarily just for talking about your problems, just for helping you out throughout your day. And so I started going to our mental wellness advocate every single week. And from there, I started talking to my mom about therapy. Um, it was great for me after the first few sessions. I really just um, had an amazing relationship built with my therapist. I've been seeing her for the past five years now. Um, she's a real one, homie. but. Uh, it's been amazing to have that bond with her because she knows so much about just how I've developed and how my values and the idea of myself and the world around me has changed. Um, it was very <laughs> overwhelmingly like happy. I was so happy about that because a big problem with me wanting to get not wanting to talk to my parents was also the fact that I didn't think we could afford it. There's many of places that they just didn't take our insurance and without it, it was like $300. So I was like, I don't think that this is going to be something that I can do and I can afford. So what's the point of even bringing it up? So the fact that I was able to bring it up and we were, I was able to get the resources just within school itself and then even find resources beyond that that were even free for me at least, that was very, I was very happy about that. There are countless students who would not receive services and the school day can only provide so much and school counselors can only provide so much and honestly we think about all of the outside community agencies and they are busy and with everything that we've had to endure over the last few years with COVID um, those partnerships are just that much more important and so I think about where kids would be without that is there would be a large portion of students who don't have financial access, who wouldn't have the opportunities outside of this program to receive that um, specific support during the school day. I would first like to thank anyone who's contributing funds to the Braden Robertson Mental Health uh, Fund. I can definitely assure you that your money is well spent. I can definitely assure you that without students having access to mental health help, um, to be uh, in great despair. I think this has profound effects on our school community. Um, and so thank you, it's, it's, a, it's a worthwhile endeavor and it truly is something that's saving lives.